So anyways, this, uh, there's another, by another corporation, yet again, screwing people over because they have such a huge amount of money and influence in the world that they can get away with this type of crap. It's your friends at Apple, what I like to call the Crapple Corp Corporation. Let me preface this by saying, yes, I have a couple iPads, an older one and a newer one. And I've had, uh, let's see, an iP two iPod Touches and two iPhones. Both iPod Touches and both iPhones rendered useless when they weren't even that old by Apple knowingly releasing firmware that was too advanced for it and used too much CPU power. So basically it just fucks them up. And I wouldn't doubt if Apple even puts in bugs on the older devices because they have codes for all these devices. They know how to access this and that. To, to purposely render them useless. What happens usually is the battery life goes horribly bad. I can look at my iPhone 5S, which isn't that old. You, the new trend now they also have people on is you have to buy something new every two years. No, wrong. Five, six, seven years should be fine for a device, period. And you should have the option to go back to the firmware that work for it. And you know that, but you don't do it because you know that the masses will accept that and put up with it. It's bullshit, though. It's thievery. It's deception and lying thievery. Um, and hopefully you have to pay for that someday and your corporation doesn't last. Because that sucks. Uh, yeah, so I, I, my, my iPhone 5S, I can literally have it plugged in and watch the battery fall. And, and then you're going to get all these people to make comments. You need to reset. Do a hard reset. Go to iTunes and redo it. Redo I've done all that. And, I, and I'm, I'm finally, I used to say this stuff a few years ago. And now I'm finally starting to see people agree with me because it used to be people would jump on the band, like be all offended that their almighty Apple was was being attacked and they would go on the defensive. You're crazy. You're... But now I'm getting people like, yeah, you're absolutely right. It's happened to me like three or four times now. I've gotten, um, And it's not just Apple. Microsoft does this crap too. But my whole point is I'm talking about Apple devices right now. The lightning camera adapter does not work. But I think past anything past iOS 9, it only works on with other iOS devices. It doesn't work with SD cards. You can't use your own camera, any brand other than Apple, and import your videos, which you should be able to, especially on the $1,000 iPad I just got. I didn't pay that for it. I got it used. It's about three months old for about $250 because I'm not going to give Apple that much money. And I'm going to sell it because I don't need it at this point. I have an iPad mini, which I'm filming this on. Mini 4, which is fine. Uh, it won't even import videos. It doesn't see it. And I've done all the tricks, which there isn't that many online because I noticed another thing. Apple, Google, Safari, all these companies like the internet browser companies, the companies that own them, are work with these companies like Apple and Facebook. So when you Google something like there's a certain problem on an Apple product, a lot of times it won't come up. And all you'll get is Apple websites. And there's other places that talk about Apple stuff besides Apple's website, but I found one where people are talking about this particular issue with the latest iOS updates about their SD card readers not working when they had previously for nine months or a year. So I'm glad other people, I'm not, I'm not glad it happened, but it's true. I'm glad people are bringing this up. And Apple are such assholes about this. They usually don't even make an update for seven months, six months, five months later. And when they do, there's some other major bugs involved. Like your battery life is just going to be horrible or your cellular or Wi-Fi won't work anymore, whatever the case may be. They have the money to test every single aspect of all devices and, and every operation on the device. But they just don't or they do and don't care and release it anyways because they're scamming thievers to try to get you to buy more shit. This whole, this whole iPhone 7, iPhone 8 bullshit where there's no headphone jack and you have to buy their stupid Bluetooth headphones, or I guess you could use, or their adapter to use other headphones. More shit you're going to lose. And it's just fucking bullshit. I would never support that. Uh, yeah, so I got a Galaxy, Sam, an older Galaxy uh, S5 phone to use because I'm sick of using Apple phones. Particularly the phones, because you can't use a phone with no battery life going around. It literally, it literally lasts me about 20 minutes now on a full charge. Uh, so I, I keep, I'll keep my iPads, not, not the newer one. I'm going to get rid of that, the iPad Pro 10.5. Uh, but I'll keep the iPad Minis because I have so many music apps I bought over the years, synthesizers and music making apps and video editing apps and art apps. I've spent you know three or four hundred bucks over the past five years on those type of apps. Not to mention the devices, but that that that's a complete 
it's, it's, it's a sham. They're just ripping you off and then they expect you to just go along with it. And people with money don't notice this because these new iPhones are ridiculous. And this, the iPad's a thousand dollar zone. Jesus Christ, even 300 is expensive to me. Your, your average low end worker is fucked. <laughs> and so, you know, people with tons of money, it's fine. And tons of gadgets, no problem. They just buy more crap. They don't care. But for people who without money or low on money or tight on money or just maybe maybe you have money but you realize you don't want to be ripped up you should be treated with class and integrity instead of scammed lied to and deceived and the problem is apple has the app market cornered so if you want to go to android you can't find all the they don't, they don't even have a tenth the amount of cool music making apps and probably art and whatever so you know it says yeah the sd lightning card adapters i have two of them and they are actual apple brand and all my cables are apple brand they don't work they don't they only work with iphones to import other ipads uh they won't work with sd cards and it's complete bullshit. yes my sd cards are new i got three new sd cards trying to figure this out i formatted like like all the websites say to do not all of them there's only a couple you have to format it in a DCIM folder and label it a certain amount of characters, blah, blah, blah. Tried that, nothing. So, yeah, anyways, fuck you, Apple.